This is my brand new iPhone 15 Pro Max. I'm gonna be setting up external recording on this device so that I can record directly onto this rather than recording on the internal storage. Now you do need to enable ProRes recording. So to do that, the first thing you do is you can come in here, you can pick your resolution. So I do 1080p 60. You can, you know, of course, do 4K 60, whatever you're gonna do. That's your decision. We'll leave that as 1080p 60, which is what I'm normally gonna record at. What you do need to come do though is you come in here and you go to formats here. And then you need to make sure that you have enabled in here Apple ProRes. I didn't have this on before because I wasn't using it. So you come in here, you click Apple ProRes. You can decide if you want HDR, high dynamic range, or SDR, standard. So this is, you know, standard. It's basically just gonna show probably closer to what you actually see. High dynamic range is gonna pull up the brightness and pull down the darkness. So you're gonna get a lot of contrast between lights and darks. Then you come back here. Now when you come into your camera, you're gonna see a setting up here. You go into video. And you're going to see a setting up here saying ProRes HDR. Right now I'm not in ProRes mode. You click that there, it goes into ProRes. And you can see here I'm only getting 90 minutes. That's internal storage. This is a 512 gigabyte model of this device here. You can see there, 90 minutes. Now let's plug in an external enclosure. Now I have myself here an NVMe. You can plug in you know, whatever you want. You can get pre-made ones. You can get Samsung T5, T7, whatever. You know, sand disk, whatever you want. I just, this is way cheaper for me. Get yourself a sub-rent enclosure and stick it in an NVMe. But we're going to plug this in here and you're going to see something. See that? Nothing changed. Now if I go into files, let's say I go into files here. Picture right here. I'm going to try to put this on my storage device here. So I'm going to go save to files, right? I'm going to go back here. I can see my storage here, right? This is a game uh, device here. And you can see here, I can't save on it. Why can't I save on this NVMe here? Well, that's because you have to be in the right format. This NVMe right here is not formatted to a format that the iPhone can recognize. Neither can the Mac either. If you're using a Mac or an iPhone, it can't recognize it. The easiest thing if you're going to be jumping between Windows, Mac, lots of different devices is going to be XFAT, E-X-F-A-T. I'll show you how to do that. Once you do that, however, you're going to actually be able to save onto these things. So let's pull this out here. I'm going to just quickly show you a drive here that I already have been using. So we'll take that one out there. This one here is properly formatted for use on my iPhone. It uses XFAT format. So we're gonna put that in there. Plug this in real quick, same idea. We're gonna plug this in here. And you're gonna notice here when I go back here, give it a second to pop up. There it is, Samsung. And now I can save. See that? It's saved onto my uh, NVMe here. Now when I go back to my camera here, okay, we're gonna to go to video mode. Can see that there. I'm going to turn on ProRes again. Remember how it said 93 minutes? Well, what do we have here? 293 minutes. One terabyte NVMe. You could put in a larger one, two terabytes, four terabytes, whatever. That's how you're going to know, right? And I'm going to pop this out here. Watch this. 293. I'm going to pop this out. Boom, back to 90 minutes. I can still record ProRes. Now it's going into the iPhone. All you need to do to record is just plug in the external device. Give it a second to recognize. Boom, 293. Now let me just quickly cut and I'll show you how to format your drive in the proper way so that you can use it inside of your enclosure here. Okay, first I'm gonna do this on Windows. So you pop in your NVMe enclosure, pop your NVMe enclosure into your computer. You can see here it popped up right away in Windows. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna go format. This is the one that is formatted correctly and you can see here it's formatted as XFAT. You can see that there. Windows typically will default to NTFS. Max will use a different format, ACF, ASCF, I think it's called offhand. Um, XFAT is readable by Windows and by Mac and your iPhone. So you need to make sure that you're formatted to XFAT. So if you don't have your thing formatted to XFAT, come in here, put it to XFAT. This allocation size is up to you. I just put it as default. Give it a name. Mine's just Samsung 980p, which is the type, but you could call this iPhone storage or something like that. And then all you do is hit start. As soon as you do that, you're gonna get a pop-up. Hit OK. I'm not gonna do it because I have files on there. Hit OK. It'll format to XFAT. That's all you have to do. Then you plug it into your iPhone and you're good to go. Now we'll do it on my Mac because I think a lot of you guys are gonna be using Mac, especially if you're iPhone users. So what you do is you do the same thing. I can have my device in here, plug it in, plug it into your Mac. It's a little bit different here. Pops up here. Do you wanna accept? Yes, hit allow. This is already formatted for the right format, but you know, if it's not formatted, whether it is or not, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and you're gonna go like this, disk, utility, 
hit enter, it's going to pop up here. You can see this is my drive here. You can see there right now, same as it was in Windows. I'm going to go like that. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to hit erase. It may sound counterintuitive. On Windows it was format, on here it's erase. You hit erase. Then it's going to ask you what format you want to be in here. Mac's preferred format is here, APFS. That's the, what your drives are normally going to be into. But I recommend using XFAT. The reason is XFAT will work on Windows and XFAT will work on your phone and your Mac. You can use APFS, which will work on your iPhone as well, but in the off chance that you may be also using this on your Windows machine or something or sharing it with somebody, you're better off just putting in XFAT. XFAT is recognized by Windows, Mac, and your iPhone. And then all you do is literally come in here, hit erase, and you just wait for a second. And I'm done. Now I have an XFAT formatted drive here. You can click on it there. You'll see in here what it is, USB, yada, 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 yada. And then it says right here that it's XFAT. So if you pop in your NVMe, your brand new NVMe into your iPhone, and you're not seeing file transfers pop up, you're not able to do that, and you're not able to record directly to it, you need to have ProRes enabled, that's step one. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna make sure that your NVMe drive is formatted to XFAT. Once it's formatted to XFAT and you have ProRes enabled, you plug that into your phone, automatically you're gonna be recording onto the external device. Now you don't have to record directly onto the external storage, you can. I mean, that's a really neat feature that you can do that. But you know, if you're not bringing this with you, you don't have to do that. Another really useful thing that you can do now on the iPhone, now that it has USB-C, is that you can hook up these NVMe enclosures and just transfer files over. So you know, I could just record a video directly on my iPhone, then when I'm done with it, I can just move it over to this NVMe really, really fast, and no longer do I need to use iCloud to upload there and then download again. No longer do I need to plug it into my computer itself and do some type of file transfer. You don't have to do that anymore. I can just move them directly onto this NVMe and just store them on there. You all know that Macs don't have a lot of storage, so why go through all these extra steps, you know, moving them onto Mac and then moving them onto an external storage and blah, 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 blah. Why don't we just put them directly on there and I can just store all my videos on there. So I'm gonna end up with a two terabyte or a four terabyte one of these, and I'm just gonna store all my videos on here, and then that way I don't need to move them around. So let's say I'm gonna move this video here. Now, this is about a 1.5 gigabyte video, so it's quite large. So we'll come in here and we'll see here, export the original, or I could do save to files. We'll come in here. Um, you know, I can save it somewhere else on my phone. You'll notice that this is not here. Remember, I formatted this NVMe to XFAT. So once I plug this in, it should pop up here. Just give it a second. There it is. And you can see there I've already moved one. Let's just do it again. Save. Done. How long did that take? Like one second and I moved a 1.4 gigabyte video from my phone onto my external storage. So I don't need to put these onto my MacBook anymore and eat up my tiny, tiny little bit of storage or even on a Windows PC. I mean, storage is at a premium. Why not get yourself a cheap NVMe, USB-C? You can either record directly onto the external enclosure. If you're using that ProRes up here, you know, you click like that. It's gonna go directly onto the external enclosure. But if you don't wanna do that, you know, just disable that. Record normally on your phone, just as you normally would do, and then move them over to the NVMe. All your videos, all your pictures on here, no need to store them on your computer anymore.